It's time to grow up from one of the biggest lies we have been told in school, that space is a vacuum. Well, it's not entirely true because space is not an absolute vacuum as about 31% of it is composed of matter. Within that composition, the ones we can see directly and actually know of is just 0.5%. The rest of the matter in the universe was considered the missing matter until it was not missing anymore. The missing matter is made up of dark matter and arguably dark energy. The dark matter composes about 26% of the universe while dark energy stands about a good 68%. However, today's focus is fully on dark matter and let us know if you want an elaboration of dark energy after reaching the end of this video. Now, the most prominent question, what is dark matter? All the elements on the periodic table and every matter we know of till date is called visible matter in the stage of universe for one reason, they can be seen literally. In the case of dark matter, it doesn't absorb, reflect or emit light, in simpler words, non-reactive to light or any electromagnetic radiation for that matter, hence the name dark matter. This means if one observes the universe through a telescope, the dark space between stars, planets and galaxies can either be empty or filled with dark matter. No one can really know. Well, that raises a suspicion. If dark matter is really as invisible as it seems to be, how did people discover its existence in the first place? Inference had a great role to play. It all started with common curiosity to how absurd the cosmical events were at the time before dark matter's discovery. There were always some pieces that didn't fall into place. The first known inference came from an astronomer in 1933 when he found out that the mass of cluster and stars only accounted for 1% of the mass needed to keep the galaxy in shape using gravitational pull. He suspected that there were more unseen masses in that galaxy, otherwise it will not have such a massive gravitational influence. Think of it like this, with matter comes gravity, so it was impossible for a relatively small amount of matter to produce an enormous gravitational power, logically. Although some other contenders suggested matter may work differently in different parts of the universe, the idea of missing matter seemed to be a more viable option. Since the acknowledgement, scientists ended up with more convincing explanations to other astronomical events over the years, proving from time to time the existence of dark matter. Before we could go any further, head on to our channel to find more interesting videos. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our videos. The thing about dark matter is that we know too little about it as most of what we learned about it came from the effects caused on the visible matter around it. Even then, we can hardly tell of the amount of dark matter that exists in a particular space. All the visible matter leads back to the very beginning of our universe, the Big Bang. Holding faith to that, we can only assume dark matter has originated from the same point. Due to its unseen presence, we can conclude that it must have been through very less reactions or movement, if any, after the Big Bang. The same belief gives an idea that dark matter should be generally cold. For the rest we know, dark matter may not even be made of any particles that made up the visible matter. And it's not like we can get a scoop of dark matter from space and test them at our laboratory. Why is knowing about dark matter so important? The obvious reason is that there is so much of it in the universe and we know frighteningly little about it. If only we know something more about this mysterious form of matter, it'll be a huge breakthrough in decades of research about the nature of the universe. We can solve so many things about the ever-growing universe. For example, we can finally know if the universe is going to keep expanding or stop at a point or even worse, begin collapsing inwards in the future. 
Besides, it holds so many new possibilities. Imagine if dark matter could be used as reinforcements to technology or even as fuels. Who knows, it may source the power and shielding strength to build a light speed engine finally. New matter means we will have to redefine the entire known chemistry. So let's keep rooting for dark matter. And honestly, I'm a fan of the mysterious ring it gives to the secrets of our great universe. Excited to see you with another video from Quantum Vimana.